Barry, you're back. Yeah. What do you call it? More Tesco trolley master trolley, racing. Trolley, yeah. No, yeah. generic. Off, Sorry. Off brand. Off shopping brand trolley. shopping trolley. Yeah. Remember before I bought all these, we had to have the yeah. the fucking vice grip amnesty. Every single vice yeah. grip's in here. Yeah, serious potential. Beautiful. Hi. Yeah. So what's going on, everyone? The 8.6 has kind of really slowed down since probably around September. I had Barry down at the end of September, and he was doing the arches, but. Uh, He's been pretty busy since then, so I haven't been able to get a chance to get him down. But he's actually coming down this morning, so we've come out here super early. The plan is to try and at least get one side of the arches done, so I've come out here to get everything ready. The last few months, have like not a whole lot has happened. You've seen us do stuff with the BMW, and other than that, yeah. The main reason why a lot of you are here for the channel is to see what's going on with the 8.6. And um, it's actually not too far away now from paint. Once Barry does both of the arches, he wants to gap the car, make sure everything is right, just give it a once over, and then it goes to our friend Jackie for painting. Over the Christmas holidays, I got some cool wheels. I picked these Star Sharks up in Japan. They were unbelievably cheap, and I couldn't leave them there. I've always wanted to own a set of Star Sharks. I know it seems uh, kind of mental because I just have a load of wheels now, but I don't know, to almost feel like I was doing some progress on the 8.6, I just started buying wheels. I bought these with Tanabees in work. See, that's the problem of working in a parts importer. When you see stuff come up for the right price, it's really hard to leave it there. A friend of mine, Damien, most of his 8.6 is actually, the front of his old 8.6 is up there. Some of you will remember it as the 8.6 from the 8.6 Love Affair. Or sorry, the little Hatchy That Could video, which is on our channel way back. But, uh, these are the wheels that his 8.6 came in from Japan with, and they are Hayashi Techno Phantoms. And he only had a pair of them. And um, a friend of ours, Sean Marr, had the Casablanca and the Mark III on his 8.6 when he crashed a years ago. So Damien just has all these wheels over in the shed. And he was looking to make some space. There's an SSR Star Formula, Casablanca 8, the Techno Phantoms, and a smashed Mark III. But uh, Damien asked me that I want to buy these off him. I've always wanted to own these wheels ever since he's had them years ago, before I even knew how cool they were. So he managed to sell me all these and I'm gonna build a little uh, wheel wall here pretty soon, just to display some of the wheels I have, because you know, there's wheels, there's cool wheels hidden everywhere. But I've uh, got a piece of fresh metal for Barry to do the arches because anything that's left outside now, there's like salvage guys coming around and uh, they stole the, the, the hood off the micro that's over there. So we, we needed this then to actually Get some fresh metal. Five years in July of owning this car, which is fucking completely insane. Oh yeah, you might notice that the, the lens is a bit better. So I finally discontinued the eight millimeter Samyang fisheye lens, which I've been using since I started the vlogs. And the main reason why I was using this lens is because I just used it when I used to film skateboarding. I've come from a, skateboard video background so it just seemed like a good lens without having to you know have steady shot or anything on the uh what was it folks and yeah on the on the videos and it kind of worked but i know a lot of people probably got sick of it after a while so i saved up and uh, well actually i used the money from the japan and Avan series to buy this uh, 16 to 35 millimeter f is it f4 yeah sony zeiss lens so Things will probably look a little bit better from here on in. For people that may miss the fisheye lens, I'm sorry, this lens is pretty wide, so I'm, I'm hoping it's a, a good substitute. I just really got sick of the fisheye lens over the last while, especially after making the Japan and Avan series, where most of the footage was shot like on 35 millimeter or something nice, and then when I had to go back to this, I felt like I was going backwards. So I do enjoy the quality of this, and this is the most common lens a lot of people use for vlogging and that, so. It's, it's good, it's got nice autofocus. Put the long chams back on this. I had the Star Sharks on it just to see what they look like. And they look pretty cool, except for the like bad snow tires. I think the objective is to re rebarrel these to like really nice sizes in a few months, maybe if funds allow. But I'll put back on the long chams for now and because we're gonna just build the, the arches to those. I'm really looking forward to Barry coming down. I haven't seen him since uh, September last year, and it is now 2022. So it's pretty insane how long this journey has been going on for. <sighs> Ugh. 
Right, so the plan today is to just slam the coilovers as much as we can. So we're gonna dump the wheel up into the arch so we can build the arches perfectly to the wheels. Here's a, a couple of ramps that I built for a skateboard jam we had in, in uh, October. So the 86 has kind of become a bit of a storage area. A bit of this over to Ruben's area, which has also become a storage area. Cause yeah, Ruben cracked the piston in September, October, and uh, he's gone back to college. So his car has just become a fossil. Life gets in the way, we all know it. So I'm going for the flared arch look because that's what I grew up lusting over. As the value of these cars go up and more and more people restore them back to OEM, I always wonder like are people restoring them back to OEM so they'll be worth more in years to come or is it like because they like the OEM look. I've personally always loved the millennium style drift look that you see uh, Kaicho or UAO or the run free guys, um, there's a lot of people who used to have that look back in the day and that's kind of the look I'm always lusted after is kind of relatively chunky wheels on like an OEM style body. So that's the plan with the car for this version of it. Who knows, like, I mean, I have no intentions of getting rid of it. So maybe like in, you know, 10 years or maybe like when I get a bit older and more sensible, I'll uh, change it up again. The fact you can buy quarter panels now. It's funny that the quarter panels came out just after we spent like six months putting the roof on and, and we're still actually not finished. So a quarter panel would have probably saved us a year's worth of metal work. Imagine on both sides. They just released front wings as well. So we could have done that. I mean, look at all this shit that we've replaced. I know it's made for entertainment with Barry replacing the stuff in the pockets, but there's still a bit to do here that we're gonna do when it goes up to the body shop. But uh, yeah, a quarter panel would have saved me a lot of money and a lot of time. If you own an 8.6 and you're restored and you're under the illusion that it's not going to rust again, you're fooling yourself. I've had some close mates that have restored 8.6s and they've come back to rust not too long afterwards. If you have an old classic car, you know that, especially if you live in a moist country like Ireland. Um, a dog. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. Just a little. <laughs> yeah, she likes an old cuddle. Hey. <laughs> What's happening? This is not exciting. All right. Uh, there we go. So we've jacked uh, or lowered the springs as much as I could and jacked the axle up into the arch. And that's pretty good. What do you think, Coco? No, no, Coco has no interest. All right. Barry, you're back. Yeah. That's <laughs> not misery. We say it's misery, but we don't. It's, it's 2022. We've been at this since 2017, I think. Really? Yes. Wrong time. Wrong time. <laughs> yeah, so we're back down. Messing around with arches. With more, um, what do you call it? More Tesco trolley master trolley racing. Trolley, yeah, no, yeah. generic. Off, Sorry. Off brand, off shopping, brand trolley. shopping trolley. Yeah. Which has now been mated to the car. Grand. Beautiful. I like your uh, Empire Strikes Back Tesco bag. Yeah, you have to have the love for the Star Wars, man. Yeah. Love for the fair. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. So they say in, in, in Simpsons, that's the, 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 the gay droids from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do have a bit of an unusual relationship, but it's, yeah. it's great. Um, obviously, C-3PO is, is a, a power top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't imagine, you know, a trash, well, a trash can's a receptacle, isn't it? Yeah. So, there you go. <laughs> I'll let you fill in the blanks. <laughs> so for people that weren't watching, but they probably have, because the only people that are left watching the videos are people that are holding on till the end. Yeah, weirdo diehards. Yeah. Like us. Like us, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we chopped up a non-brand trolley the last time you were down and you've decided to go for an old school technique that yeah. people used to use of putting the bar in and then you're gonna meet the arch to it, so. Mm -hmm. You make a framework like, yeah, with the bar. Yeah, and then just build get, down get to the it. the profile you want and then just weld to it. Sweet. And she's meant. 
she'll be good and strong. Yeah. It's one of those things where I'm pretty gonna spend like 40 minutes just tweaking this yeah. fucking piece of metal. Until you're happy with until it. Until they're both the same. Yeah, and then you just weld in. Nice. And I did stuff after that. Barry was down a few uh, weeks ago and he put some artwork on the... <laughs> On the 86, there's like the longest dicks I've ever seen anyone draw ever. Dollars. Completed with the longest dribble of semen ever. Maybe gravy. This one is sorked. The other one, I'm not sure. No, both of them. Oh, I know they both. They're, yeah, they're both <laughs> cut. <laughs> Look at the details. <laughs> so you're gonna just yeah measure it so it's more or less the same. Yeah. On either side, dropping down from the. The swager, I don't know what's that called. Yeah, that's a swage. A swage, wow, I'm learning. It looks pretty good. Yeah, nice. It's up the same. Yeah. So. And like when you run your fingers underneath, it yeah. feels. Yeah, and a four pole. Pinches the same. Sure, Barry, you won't be looking at the, the two sides at the same time. Flip just said something I never heard before, because one thing I'd always hear them say is that sure you can't look at the both sides at the same time. But he said, they're sisters, not twins. And I like that better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So no, I, I credited you. Oh, thank I did. You. I he said, gave you the. He I, cited I you in the you, uh, in the document, and now everyone else can also take it. Yeah. In a year or two, when but you have to credit Flip. Like, yeah, you even do. If you're talking to someone that just has say no it. Idea who Flip's, it is. Yeah. Oh, Flip said. <laughs> blah blah blah. Beautiful. Ran for a few tackles. Making the tab so we can bolt the cool. Ah, lovely. And then we'll skin, skin around that. Then that's the tidy work barrier that people don't, they don't really bother doing. Thank you. There do be fans of the, the plaster screws. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say not. Looks good not. from the outside. Man, I remember years ago, back in back in the Max Power days, there was that. What was that crowd that did like the Renault Five? Jamie Shaw. Yeah. Yeah. So they had they had this Porsche 911 that they made this kit for. And a you know, big massive wide arch kit and it looked hella cool. The front bumper was weird because they had the center cut out, so that like it was like eating a sour sweet or something. Yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, the, the wide arch. So I was, I was impressed by this car. And then when I took a peek inside there, there's like so you have a massive quarter panel wheel arch and then you have the bumper, so there's yeah. this big long seam. And when I looked in there was just fucking millions of long, big plaster screws just holding the whole thing oh, together man. inside. So on the outside, the thing looked yeah. lovely, you know, lovely paint job. But inside was just fucking, <laughs> I swear, down, it, it was like about that, yeah. like, like that, and it must have been. But the Max, Max Power was just all about the looks, I guess, isn't it? It didn't matter if it was functional, like, it's just like, how cool can I make this look, and that's yeah. it. Plaster screws. Yeah, say nothing. Show car. Yes, yes. <laughs> Welding glow. Mm. So you can smoke roaches without burning your fingers. <laughs> Get the maximum capacity yeah, out of it. Fucking the stinging roger. <laughs> Clear the arch is broken, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the wheel has been broken on the barbecue for as long as we've had it. And Brian is always saying that when Barry comes down, ask him will he fix the wheel. We always forget. And we always forget. Oh, lovely and crusty. Really, yeah. That's a comp. Oh, yeah, you can smell it. It smells like a fucking burger. 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 Oh, look. Beautiful. Burger. That's the weirdest smelling weld ever. Burger weld. Yeah, anywhere at all, this fucking... So, so him, so him. So him like that. So him. Oh, I can feel it's sticky. Oh, that's 
strangest thing in the world that it smells like a burger when you weld. The burger. Burger. That's a comp- Oh yeah, you can smell it! It smells like a fucking burger! 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 So hum. Oh, I can feel- it's sticky. Oh, that's the strangest thing in the world that it smells like a burger when you weld. Burger. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time you've said fuck off. It's been a while. Someone will point it out. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. That's yeah. looking good, Barry. It's getting there. Yeah. Blob at a time. Solid, yeah, so I can bait the fuck out of lead. And because it's a round edge, it like it'll rub the tire all right, but it won't like. Yeah. It's nothing to catch and shred. That's fine. So. I'm all about the rubbing. It shouldn't like. Well, it won't rub because we built it around it with the suspension. Yeah, 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 so. yeah. Beautiful. Just to show that all we do is eat burgers. Burger. That's all we do. And zip the two out, the alternator to the yo. Now, how many horsepower is that now? Probably 50. 42. 42 horsepower. <laughs> He's going no combined. 42 horse pallets. Yeah. Oh wow. Nice. She's that is sturdy. Are you united with a jumper? You probably didn't care about, but oh, now. Just, I would just, yeah. That's every single thing we've ever cut out of the car, ever. I've saved it in a box for a joke, everything, Barry. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's a lot there. There's like, well, there's nearly five years of stuff there now, so. Yeah, absolutely full to the gills, bitches. It's mad that the rust goes onto it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is mad. Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? There's like. You've caught every single thing that's behind you out of something. That's kind of funny. I'm just going to tack it on on top, is it? And then. Piece. Yeah. Nice. Yes, looking good. Remember before I bought all these, we had to have the, yeah. the fucking vice grip amnesty. Every single vice yeah. grip's in here. You probably use them more than you think you would, would you, to have that many things like? Yeah. Have to have <laughs> the voice grips and whiskey. Jesus, Barry, that's, that's pretty fucking awesome. I'm gonna trim it back. 
Yeah. And then... That is cool, man. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. You like my filing system? Yeah, I love it. But I bet you know where everything is. <laughs> yeah. File there, look. Perfect. Ah. I trapped my um. Oh, the glove. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sick, man. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes, that's cool, man. Nice. I really like that. I like the profile. I like everything. Knock that out a little bit. A little flat there. Yeah. Yeah. Deadly, man. This is uh, hilarious. Back in the dark corner, there's actually a, an A101 buried under all this. Look at it, in all of its glory. I'll just go get off to our new home! I'll just get the 92 off the roof. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> Great bag. We'll put the wheel back on. For a bit of a look. You have to tuck. There we go. Very nice. Yeah. That's great now. Quite a nice, strong. Strong. <laughs> That's yes, it's it's everything I've wanted, so. Scored. Get out of the way there, how do we? Pimp and sense, pimp, pimp and sense. <laughs> So yeah, Barry's just finished up, everybody's gone home. Um, we got some serious progress done today on the arch. It uh, is a really nice profile, so not too big. It uh, just follows the original profile, heading out then slightly curved, which is exactly what I wanted. And then it curves back into the natural line. And what we're gonna do is slice the bumper and build it out so it's nice and seamless, kind of like an OEM Plus. It's kind of like a take on the original drift style where people have just flared their arches, but we've done it, you know, with actually planning to do it. Like the inner skin is cut, as you can see, and it's pushed all the way out. And there's a bit of a trolley in here, which is absolutely hilarious. So Barry's a legend. I didn't annoy him too much today. He was really thinking about how to work out in this arch. So like, you know, in the footage, there was actually a lot of air times where it was just quiet because he was just working and I was just leaving him alone. So I don't think he even said that many fuck off. I've been fantasizing about having arches like this for many many years right there is so good like you can see just the uh, TRD wing and uh, just the way the wide angle lens is doing that with the wheels just slammed so yeah serious potential it does look pretty it looks pretty badass that low 
which is probably not going to be the final height. It obviously raised the, the, the back up a little bit, but it's getting there. How low is that exhaust? Oh, fuck. That's hilarious. But yeah, I'm thrilled with the arch. Really am. I can't wait to see all this just in one color. Soon. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave this one here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the day. Another awesome day of progress. Good times. See you later. Goodbye. See you soon. Hey. Okay.